All right, here is my um, 2013 Honda Rancher 420. Um, gets used a lot. Um, about every weekend we go riding. And I've got it apart to put a snorkel on it. So I figured before I put it all back together, I'd show you all how I ran the snorkel. I used one inch and a half uh, PVC, which fits perfect in the little... Uh, rubber grommet with the clamp on it from the stock uh, air intake tube which I removed which ran up here um, removed it I put this in here there's a short piece of pipe you can't see in there but there's short short piece of pipe and then this is a 45 and then this is a sweeping 45 uh, electrical conduit and then, uh, you know, PVC electrical conduit, the gray stuff. And then, um, you know, inch and a half. And then I've cut it here and put one of these, uh, it's a rubber little coupler. They use it for steel pipe, PVC, or cast iron pipe and PVC. And it's got this uh, metal band around it to uh, kind of strengthen it, make it a little more rigid. And then I've got a sweeping 90 electrical uh, PVC going up to a rubber 90. And I've got a um, conduit clamp just to kind of brace, brace it. And it's just tie wrapped to the frame. It's not, there's the joints that are holding it tight. This is just to keep it from uh, flopping up against and rattling and stuff. Then <clears throat> there's a PVC 90 right in there that turns and goes up. And I've drilled a hole right here. And then it comes up, and I've got a strong made basket on the front. So I just attached it to the basket. This is a, um, just a, a conduit clamp, uh, one sided clamp. And then I've got the double sided clamp right here holding both of them so I've got two clamps on it and then I put a um, a uh, coupler here uh, because I wanted it because the coupler is kind of sitting on the rack kind of helps keep it from dropping down and then a 45 and then a 90 and I need to touch up the paint it got scratched up and um, I just painted it with plastic paint I still got my tools and stuff out, um, <clears throat> and then we um, I copied on the other side, and it's also they're bolted together. Like I said, I'll touch up the paint, and this one's pretty much the same up top, and then it's got a 90 down here, and I've run or I've extended my vent lines. Um, I didn't do the gas tank vent, and I didn't do the um, rad overflow uh, tank vent, but pretty much got everything else. Looks like a little nick in that hose. It's not all the way through though. Hmm. Um, I'll put a little silicone right there. It's not all the way through though, but I just ran them along here, and I just used. Um, uh, vacuum line. Uh, here, let's move this out of the way. I just use vacuum line connectors to tie onto the breather lines and extend them up through there. And they just extend up into here. And there's a uh, thumb off of an old leather glove over the end of the. Uh, over the end of the hoses to keep <clears throat> try to keep some dirt out and stuff but it's pretty easy pretty easy run and uh, protect the motor now I've siliconed I'm not gonna pull the top off because that's silicone the top because um, that there was actually some uh, you can see where a little bit of muddy water had run down the inside of the air box I mean just a just a hair but um, I haven't been through 
that deep of water, I mean, it's been up to the seat, so, um, or the bottom of the seat on one side. Anyway, it's pretty easy, um, and then I siliconed around the, uh, all the grommets, uh, that go into the airbox to make sure they're sealed off, and I put some, uh, heat reflecting aluminum tape over the uh, PVC where it uh, goes um, right next to the motor just to help protect it. Let's see. And there's a little uh, hole in this bracket right there. So I uh, cut a little piece of rubber hose to put around it and put a little tie wrench just to help hold it. And that's pretty much it. A lot of people will run them out and end up on here, but um, I didn't really like how that comes out, so I just did it like this. And let's see, any other... Oh, I installed this when I first got it. <clears throat> just an accessory plug on the um, shroud here that goes up by the gas tank. And what else about that? I've got a... Uh, winch on the front three thousand pound and I've got a wireless remote on it on the winch on a switch so I can turn the wireless uh, controller on and off I've also got the handlebar mount controller I've got a uh, reverse light switch that I put a little reverse light and uh, these front LED lights which are super bright, but the uh, the mounts on them suck. So I had to uh, JB weld the little mount on them because they swivel. They're made where you can swivel, but they I guess they took too much abuse and they were loose. So I had to just JB weld them straight. Now put a uh, that's a little conduit clamp, a little piece of conduit with the lights attached there. It's kind of like a little light bar. And I've got room for another one on each side if I want. And the reverse light <coughs> is right there. And this one's been submerged a lot of times and it still works fine. Another little LED light. Works pretty good. And I think that's it. Other than tires, uh, 26 by 12 by 12 mud lights on the back. And 26 by uh, 9 by 12 on the front. I had uh, I gotten the tires and rims used and I had 26 by 10 by 12s on the front that were almost worn slick. You know, that just I bought the bought it mainly for the rims and uh, the uh, front tires rubbed on the winch once I put the winch in. So I bought some new 9s for the front. But the back still have pretty good tread for used tires, so work pretty good. Uh, I think that's it, and of course the the strong made rack, which works pretty good, or a basket it just attaches to the front rack. Anyway, oh and my Coleman uh, bag, I got a little ice chest in the back uh, pouch. Thanks for watching.